Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot and not only is it St. Patrick's Day, but it's the return of Moonlight Magic tonight and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me. We're going to see some super rare characters, eat some free food, drink some green beer and a couple other surprises and just have an amazing night at Epcot. Anywho's, let's go do this. Moonlight Magic is a special after hours event for Disney Vacation Club members and tonight it's back for the first time in over two years and it's from 10 p.m. till 1 a.m. and it's really awesome because there's almost no lines for rides you get to eat all the food you want for free like Mickey premium bars and even like fish and chips sometimes they offer they have super rare character meet and greets and in the past they used to put on a special fireworks show so I'm excited to see what they're offering for the first time back in over for two years. If you do attend one of these events, you do not need a park ticket or a theme park reservation, and you can get into the park as early as 6 p.m. Even though the event doesn't start till 10, you get to come in at 6 o'clock and enjoy everything, and then once the event kicks off, that's when all of the special things happen. All right, wristbanded up. I like how it's green for St. Patrick's Day. It is. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. And here is the event details for tonight. Character sightings from 10 p.m. to 12.30. Keep an eye out for some of your favorite Disney villains throughout the park. And then they have an event DJ, musicians from 10.30 to 12.30 a.m. And then a Disney Vacation Club member welcome home moment at 11 and 12. It doesn't look like they're doing the special fireworks show that they normally do. Down here they have all the attractions that are going to be open for tonight's event. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is on there. So it's going to be amazing to see what the wait time is to ride that. Like you know normally it's been super busy but I have a feeling it's gonna be a walk on tonight and then if you look on the back of it food and beverage all you care to enjoy Mickey premium bars are included with this and then they give you some delectable delight vouchers where you can get food from different places all around the park including like some of our favorite go-to spots Another cool thing that they're offering is a free Disney Vacation Club popcorn bucket with popcorn in it, of course, and that is a part of the voucher system. So when you come in, they'll give you a book of vouchers, and they're good for the snacks all around World Showcase and the popcorn bucket. And I'm excited. I want to see what the popcorn bucket looks like. Right here is the voucher booklet, and it looks like you get three vouchers or three different snacks, including that popcorn bucket. So if you don't want to use, if you don't want the popcorn bucket, you can actually use it to get another snack around World Showcase. And they have times where you can buy things. And I'm so excited because some of the places on here is good, like the Norway Pavilion, the bakery, and then at Sunshine Seasons, you can get stuff and anything that's marked with the snack credential, kind of like the Disney Dining Plan. Happy to see that back. The Mickey Premium Bars and Fruit Bars are not included in the vouchers. Those are just endless. You can have as many Mickey Premium Bars as you want. But now we're going to start making our way in. We're going to head back to World Showcase because like I said, it is St. Patrick's Day. So I have to go get a green beer at the Rose and Crown. Can I just tell you guys, I am so excited to see what characters are going to be out tonight. All of my all-time favorite character meet and greets that I've got to do inside the parks have happened during Moonlight Magic, and they literally have the best. They have the best character meet and greets. I remember one time I got to meet like four Ewoks, and I thought that was so amazing, getting to meet Oogie Boogie. Like, they have so many super rare characters, and I'm so excited. I am pumped for that. I'm also really excited to see what cool snacks we're going to get to try. You know what I mean? They do have some really interesting spots on here. And plus, we're going to be eating our fair share in Mickey Premium Bars. I feel like it's kind of a, a, a standard. You got to eat as many Mickey Premium Bars as you can, especially when they're free. I'm also really excited that the fact that the first Moonlight Magic is on St. Patrick's Day. So we're going to get to have some green beer at the Rose and Crown. They're even dyeing like the uh, slushes over in France green. And they have margaritas that are green over in Mexico. They're going all out. Epcot for St. Patrick's Day is kind of my go-to. I've been coming here for five years to actually have a green beer. One time I came in with 20 green fedoras. And I remember I was handing them out to everybody. So I kind of really am excited for this. 
It's so awesome to be on the lookout for the Disney Dining Plan logo again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's anything that has the little DDP on there is something that we can use our voucher for. So if I wanted to, I can get the maple popcorn here in Canada, which is a really good choice, but I think I'm going to wait. I feel like it is the perfect temperature out right now for St. Patrick's Day Around World Showcase. And I love how we got the music going already. It's going to be a fun night. There we go. We made it to the Rose and Crown. And I am so excited. Look, there's actual line today. Like, usually it's actually been quiet. It's still grab and go, so we can't sit in there and actually drink. But at least we can grab it and go. I always feel bad for the bartenders working hard. And you'll see their hands. They're going to be so green from all the dye. All right, here we go. Look at that. There's the green dye. Fancy. How many times did you have to wash your hands today? Do they stain? Oh, a little bit green. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm proud myself. I'm not turning And I ran into some friends and cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Look at that. First green beer of the season. I wish that the dinner. I wish we could just sit in here and drink our green beers all night. I probably wouldn't leave, but we have to take it out. It is grab and go. But look how green it is. And right here is my favorite garbage can with a view. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> green beer in hand, and we're just enjoying the day. It is so funny seeing so many people just walking around with green beers. And like I said, I think they're doing the green slushes over in France. So we might actually go over there and partake in one a little bit later on. But we're going to finish up this bad boy. Look at that. And it's so funny because your hands get dyed. But they said it's just really concentrated on its own. But once it goes in the beer, it gets diluted very quickly. But either way, I like it. It doesn't change the texture or the flavor at all. It's just kind of green. Now that we've had some green beer, I think it's time we make our way over to the France Pavilion and get ourselves a green Grand Marnay. A green Grand Marnay. Either that or they have the other one. I think they're dying it green too. Either way, we got to keep it green just for St. Patrick's Day. And all we're doing is basically waiting until Moonlight Magic starts. You know what I mean? Because that's where we're going to see all the characters. So maybe we'll watch a little bit of Harmonious a little bit later on. I'm trying to like predict on what characters are going to be here tonight. I'm pretty sure we're going to see Oogie Boogie, but I'm really hoping that we get to see the hyenas from The Lion King. I got to meet them at Magic Kingdom one time uh, for Moonlight Magic, and you get to meet all three of the hyenas, like the ones that are dancing in the Boo to You parade. And if they're here tonight, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I wish that they would give us a map that lets you know where all the characters are going to be at. They don't, and they don't even tell you where they're going to be at. So basically, this is going to be a guide for any future Epcot Moonlight Magics in case you do want to find out where they're going to be. Of course, they say World Celebration near Imagination, and then World Discovery near Test Track, and then various locations around World Showcase. After we get our green slushy here in France, we're going to start trying to find spots that we can use our little vouchers at to get something to eat. When I was walking through the UK, I wanted to stop at the fish and chip stand. It was marked with the DDP, but they're only doing chips, so just french fries, like snack credits. Basically anything that was a snack credit on the Disney dining plan. There it is. Look at that. There's the green slush right there. I don't think it's the Grand Marnay one though. I don't think, because uh, I can see the orange one over here. So it's probably not the Grand Marnay. This must be the Grey Goose one. So it's a green Grey Goose. A green Grey Goose. That's even a little bit more of a tongue twister. And here it is. Look at this fancy little drink. It kind of looks yellow, but it is green. It's just not that green. Because technically the Grey Goose is like that citron, like lemon Grey Goose. But I just had to get it. Look at it. It looks so fancy. So cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Slanche. It looks a lot greener inside the slush maker there, but this one kind of looks like still a little yellow. Now, they can't go full on green, but I mean, they can do it with the beer, so I'm not too sure why. I still like it though. I am so surprised on how well this is staying frozen. Like, it's not melting fast at all. It's been several minutes. I would even say 10 minutes, and I'm kind of just casually sipping away. And also, as it melts, it kind of fills it back up. You know what I mean? So it's really enjoy. I really do like this. 
Now that we got the St. Patrick drinks out of the way, it's starting to get dark out and it's getting a little bit closer to Moonlight Magic. I like how they give it like an hour in between. So like the park closes at nine and it'll give time for everyone to actually leave the park. And the only people that are allowed to stay or get on rides are the ones that have the green little wristbands for Moonlight Magic. And then all the festivities come out. So I'm super pumped. Somebody said there was some Halloween like spooky-ish like displays over by Figment. So I think we're gonna start in Future World and make our way around World Showcase. And I, like I said, I wanna see every single villain possible. We're gonna start making our way back up through Future World, and I noticed that they added these balloons uh, at basically every country. So maybe we'd be looking at a villain in each country. What would Canada's villain be? You know what I mean? It's so funny, I don't know. Because they don't give you like an official map map, so everything's kind of a big mystery. Holy moly, it got super crowded here. I don't even know where to go. The fireworks didn't even start yet. Like this looks like an after fireworks crowd, doesn't it? This is the pre-fireworks crowd. Look at this. So now I kind of formulated a plan. We're gonna watch a little bit of Harmonious and then we're gonna go to Imagination side and start there because A, they have the special Disney Vacation Club popcorn bucket over there and B, they have a character like Halloween area set up. So we'll do imagination and then make our way around the world showcase, hitting every single country, and then ending over by test track where the other character meet and greet is. I kinda got a plan. Okay, fireworks are done. Now we're gonna make our way up to the land because the land is still open. The park is officially closed. Everything's shut down, but the land is open till 11 o'clock for anyone staying for Moonlight Magic. So we're gonna be able to go in. As we made our way over to the land, you can see the Halloween set up here. And this is definitely gonna be Oogie Boogie. And there's a whole hour before they come out and look at the line already. Oogie Boogie is a pretty popular character. And then also the popcorn bucket for the Moonlight Magic, which is free, something you don't have to pay for. There's a line going all the way back to Spaceship Earth. I don't get it, and there's multiple locations, so I think we're gonna wait. We're not gonna get our popcorn bucket here, and uh, we'll wait until after. I kind of right now just want to go use one of my food vouchers inside Sunshine Seasons here, because like I said, that's still open for anyone that's staying for the Moonlight Magic. There we go, we gotta do the, the check, the check, check, check. Wristband check. <laughs> and then we get to go inside, look at that. I feel like it might be a little bit busy inside here because everybody's gonna be coming here while they wait until 10 o'clock. We got a whole hour, we can ride Soren if we wanted to. There's no wait for Soren, but I wanna get a snack. Looks like there is absolutely no wait for living with the land. Look at that, it's just sitting there, dormant. <laughs> Nobody in line. And uh, a lot of people actually over in Seasons. Looks like they got some chocolate chip cookies. They're still selling beer and soda and stuff like that. Oh, and then also uh, some grab and go snacks over here. But it doesn't look like they have a lot of stuff here. Like it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem like they have a lot of anything really. Looks like this is just about it right here. Some uh, veggies, grapes, an apple, uh, some salad dressing packets. You know, might want to get some Ken's, but I don't know. Okay, so a quick update. There's a special dessert that's coming out at 10 o'clock, but only at 10 o'clock. And that is something you can't use with your voucher. You have to pay for it. I think it's like $5.99. So I got myself a little 
croissant, a little, a little croissant, just so I can have something to hold me over until we get to Norway, because I think I want to use my voucher in Norway, and uh, I don't want to, I don't want to wait in here until 10, because I'd rather be out there in line to meet a character or get the popcorn bucket, so I think we're going to eat our croissant and then move out. It does look like the wait time for Soren right now is 25 minutes. 25 minutes isn't too bad, especially because everyone's gonna be here. Everyone's gonna be in the land right now, probably waiting until 10 o'clock. So there's gonna be a lot of people at Soren. Give it about like a half an hour and it's probably gonna be a walk on. But I think we're gonna take our croissant on the go. Whew. All right, it looks like here comes Oogie Boogie. I love it. I love Oogie Boogie because he walks in like so funky. Look at it. Look at his Oogie Boogie strut right here. <laughs> oh, he's teasing us. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> There he is! <laughs> oh, too good! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> okay, Oogie Boogie is the life. Look, did you see the way he was coming in like that? I love it, and now the music's going, and I think we're gonna start making our way into World Showcase. I thought about it, and I wanna wait to get my popcorn bucket, because I'd rather get it in Canada when you get the maple popcorn instead of the regular popcorn here. So that's a smart idea. But wait, before we actually make it into World Showcase, I see a bunch of people walking out of here with some Mickey Premium bars, so we're going to get some. Is that where the Mickey Premium bars are? It is. Oh boy! <laughs> All you gotta do is follow the trail of Mickey bar wrappers and you'll find them. <laughs> ah, very nice. Oh, we're coming in. We're coming in hot. Oh, just when I need it. <laughs> Now these precious beauties are endless. You can eat as many as you want. Ears first. <laughs> Scientifically, how many Mickey bars do you think I can eat without getting an upset stomach? Like, if you can put a number on it, let me know in the comments. I think I can eat five. Now I'm not saying I'm gonna eat five, but I think I can eat five without getting an upset stomach. Let me know what you guys think though. <laughs> I really want some food food though. I had the croissant and the Mickey Mars, but I should have gotten the french fries when I had the chance over at the fish and chip stand. I mean, you can only eat so many of them before you want something like salty, you know what I mean, or savory. But I still love my Mickey bar. Looks like they got a little villain's dance party right here as soon as you walk into World Showcase. And I'm pretty sure I saw the evil queen when I was walking over here. So we have to go check that out. Okay, yes, so I did see the Evil Queen, and I ran into a friend who told me Kronk is here tonight, and I am so excited because Kronk is on the list of characters I've never met before, so we're gonna beeline it for Kronk. But I love how they have these social distance selfie areas right here, so you don't actually have to wait in a queue, you can just come up and take a selfie, and look at her back there. Look at her cauldron in the back! Holy moly! They're really going all out! Oh, she's doing something to that cauldron. <laughs> that is amazing. So my original plan was to head towards uh, Canada and then come out on this side because I wanted to go to Test Track. But when I heard Kronk was here, I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> oh my Lord, there he is. Look at that. I love it. Holy moly. <laughs> Pull the lever, Kronk! <laughs> Pull the lever! <laughs> Wrong lever! <laughs> I love it! You're the best, thank you! <laughs> there was no line to meet Kronk. Can you believe that? Nobody was waiting to meet Kronk! Oh my lord! <laughs> this is it, look at! Wow! It gets better and better and better. Holy moly. I'm just randomly kind of fangirling over meeting Kronk, and then Sheriff Nottingham just comes strolling out of the doorway familiar. I don't even know. That is the best thing I think I've ever seen. 
Look at that. So crazy awesome. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Sheriff Nottingham either. So this is a first for me as well. What you got in that bag there? You oh you want some money? That's what oh a photo costs some money, huh? I see. I'm gonna tax the tax the photography. <laughs> yep, he knows. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So there wasn't any lines for any of the characters really, but take a look at the line to get food from the Norway bakery. Look at that. That is a long, long line. Also, I noticed that it's cut off now. So yeah, it looks like it ends here in Norway and then it ends in France over on that side. So we're gonna we're gonna back shoe. We're gonna make a, a horseshoe or a U. We're gonna do a U-turn. Oh, I just figured it out, they're alternating. So we seen Kronk and then uh, Sheriff Nottingham came out and before when we were walking over here, the queen, uh, the evil queen was here and now the old hag is out. So they're alternating. Look at her go back there. I feel like I'm really rooting for the old hag here. She is terrifying. Listen to the music they're playing right now. That is amazing. Oh my lord, I love the fact that the Main Street Electrical Parade was playing here at Epcot. Like how crazy is that? Look at this, we got Honest John and Gideon here as well. I'm really loving all the characters, this is really fun. Oh no, I've come upon the Canada popcorn stand and things aren't looking any better. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh, <laughs> look at this, holy moly. What a line. Cause this is also a snack uh, spot so you can get a snack here. Wow. Oh, but it's dual, I think it's dual side. It is dual side, so it goes this way too. Holy macaroni! <laughs> this is this is wow. Hi, friend. Oh, it also looks like Lady Tremaine is here too. Wow, look at that. <laughs> she doesn't like the music. It is really loud. She doesn't want to talk about Bruno. It is. It's pretty bad. <laughs> And now they're playing power line? Are you kidding me? Stand out <laughs> above the crowd. Looks like we're coming up on the Queen of Hearts here. Look at her. <laughs> I just came to pay my respects to the Queen. That's it. Thank you so much. Yep. Oh, oh, I bowed. Yes. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. I appreciate it. Off with their heads. <laughs> yes! <laughs> nice! Thank you, I got a heart! <laughs> I love the fact the queen made me bow down to her. How funny was that? And then she gave me a heart. But at 11 o'clock, they're supposed to be doing like a welcome home thing uh, around World Showcase Lagoon. So I think we're gonna hang out here and just see what that is. I know it's not gonna be a fireworks show, but still kind of a little interested. I'm not too sure what it is. It just said World Showcase Lagoon at 11 and 12 o'clock. So it might be just an announcement, but I figured I'd come down here. Nobody's even down here. Just a friend down here. Hi, friend. <laughs> Good evening and welcome home, Disney Vacation Club members, family, and friends. I'm Shannon Sikaski, the proud leader of the Member Experiences team behind Moonlight Magic, one of our favorite Membership Magic events. As we gather to enjoy this night filled with cherished characters, favorite attractions, and delicious treats, as Disney Vacation Club presents a magical moment made just for you. Think of it as a thank you card made of music, fountains, and lights. All of us at Disney Vacation Club, thank you for being here tonight and for being part of our member family. We're delighted to light the living for you. I'm 
not quite sure what you say to that. Are y'all having a good time out there tonight? Yeah! Okay, welcome home, welcome back. <laughs> Okay, let's go see what characters are over in the France Pavilion there. Oh, look at a little dancing happening here. These cast members are the ones that are making the magic tonight. Look at that. They just had a Spaceship Earth, like, remix. I don't even know what was happening there. The music is starting to be my favorite thing here. So now we're going to make our way down to France. And we're gonna see what the wait time for Remy's is and see what the uh, character is down here. What the character, the villain. Hey, hey, Next! That's me. Just wanted to come, say hello, hello take there. a video, you know? By Hope you don't means. mind. Now you know? I see you have the hair on your face rather than your chest like me. Oh, I got it on the chest too. Very nice. Yep. I find chest hair to be the most manly thing ever. What about you? Absolutely. Well, that makes me very manly. Very nice. <laughs> now tell me, very. have you seen Belle tonight? I haven't seen I Belle. Not. Well, if they're is tomorrow, so she's probably preparing. Oh yeah. As women tend to do, if you're getting ready, reading a book. Reading a book about marriage. Oh well, I'm excited. Well, if I do see her, I'll make sure to say hello for you. As you should. Would you like a portrait? Yes, please. Morgan. Thank you. <laughs> okay. As I was waiting in line for Gaston, I found out Pain and Panic are here, and that is insane because I always wanted to meet them. So I am running over there right now. I did check to see how long the wait for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is, and it says it's 30 minutes. A 30 minute wait for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, but I can ride that any day. Only time I can see Pain and Panic is tonight, so that is priority number one. We're on the hunt for Pain and Panic. If you don't know who Pain and Panic is, it's from one of my all-time favorite Disney movies, Hercules. And it would even be better if Hades was here. I would lose my mind if Hades was here, but I don't think he is. I'll settle for Pain and Panic, though. Looks like Lady Tremaine actually went in, and the evil stepsisters came out. That's awesome. Most of all of the meet and greets isn't like a line or anything. You just like walk up, take your photos or your videos socially distant, and then move along. And it really does cut down on some time. Like, I don't think I've met this many characters in one day. Like, this is impressive. Oh my lord, there they are. Oh. Yeah, they're going so quickly. There they go. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> wow. I just missed pain and panic by like a second. I was the next person there and then they took off. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Because I want a good photo with them. And I think they're coming back out in just a couple minutes. So might as well wait or go do something else and come back. That sounds like a better idea. Here is a look at the wait times right now. It looks like Soren's at 30 minutes, Remy's 45 minutes, Grand Fiesta Tour 15 minutes. Everything seems pretty low. I mean, for the most part. Frozen Ever After 15 minutes. Holy moly. Test Track is 40 minutes though. But Frozen, for 15 minute wait, that's mind blowing. I still have not used my vouchers for anything besides a croissant. <laughs> Isn't that mind blowing? I think if I just wait till the end, all the lines will die down for the popcorn buckets. And if they have a certain amount of vouchers, then that means that they only have a certain amount of popcorn buckets. So I don't think they can run out. But the lines for the popcorn buckets are still super long though. Look at this. This is an hour and a half in. Yeah, because it started at 10 o'clock and it's 11.30 right now. So still very long lines to get that popcorn bucket. I keep on coming up with these plans, but it's not going the way I planned, you know what I mean? At first I was gonna head to Canada, get my popcorn bucket, but the lines are crazy. And uh, right now I'm just really focused on making it back to see Pain and Panic. And now I'm gonna head on over to uh, Future World here to see what the other character is over by Test Track. Or maybe there's multiple characters, but as long as we get back by 12, that's all that matters. Oh, look at this, they have a huge dance party happened over here <gasps> in the Big Bad Wolf. Holy moly, the Big Bad Wolf is dancing right now. Wow. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I like it. Wow. 
Little pig, little pig, let me in. <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> Okay, the big wolf was awesome, and he's rotating out with Captain Hook and Smee, but I came back to see Pain and Panic, and I, I don't know, I'm just kind of having a ball right now with the characters. I feel like this is like Moonlight Magic to me. Everything about the characters. I wish the hyenas were here, because that would be amazing, but the hyenas were really, really cool. Here they come. <laughs> With the Illuminations music! <laughs> oh wow! This is great! <laughs> and do you guys hear Illuminations? I've been waiting for you guys all night. Yep, all night. You guys are my favorite and I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> awesome. You guys definitely, there might be a little panic there. I can see it. <laughs> a little bit. Nice. Yep, gotta take a break from the panicking. I like it. All right, let's do a selfie, eh? Yeah? All right. Well, mission, meet, pain, and panic complete. Now, let's go get that popcorn bucket. There they are. These things are like gold tonight here. <laughs> the most long weighted thing. There you go, now we went from popcorn to a Powerade to a Mickey Premium Bar. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna eat them all. <laughs> here it is. The popcorn bucket for Moonlight Magic. I'm gonna save the popcorn for later. There we go, put a lid on it because I got a Mickey Premium Bar. And a Powerade. I was too uh, concentrated on getting all the characters. I really didn't get to enjoy many Mickey Premium Bars, so this is only my second one. Here's first though. Ooh. I don't think I could do it anymore. I'm giving up on my Mickey Premium Bar. So I ate one in uh, two ears. One full Mickey bar and two ears worth, and that's it. Gonna have to call it quits. Instead, I'm gonna switch over to some popcorn. <laughs> and luckily we got in line when we did to get our popcorn bucket because it is 20 minutes until the event is over. And look at the line. All for this bad boy right here. It's not even a figment. Look, like, isn't that crazy? Look at that line. Holy moly. But I guess with that, we are going to call it a night here. Thank you to Anthony and Brianne uh, and family for inviting me along. When you're a DVC member, you get up to four spots. So uh, they had an extra spot and I was able to come. So thank you guys so much. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.